to Take Action Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I'm gonna be in your face, challenging your identity, challenging your purpose, your vision, your habits, your skills, your relationships. Yes, what's up people, how you doing? Welcome to Take Action Tuesday. Choo choo! Today's was a special one. We're going live on Facebook, and uh, we've just had our fantastic conversation on Facebook with about 140 viewers from all over the world. So I'm giving you a chance to watch this interview. Um, take your time with this, about half an hour long. It's a lovely interview, uh, question and answer, different questions being posted. So it's, it's a chance for you guys to get to watch the interview and draw some information from that. It's all about how to live a life of purpose. So I'll see you on the other side. Take care. Viewers who are joining me, thank you. All my Facebook fans, and my family, I don't even call you fans, you're my family. I've had my Facebook now for maybe about 10 years or even more than that. And to everybody joining me right now, welcome to this Q&A. It's a very unique Q&A. It's a Q&A that allows you to ask me any question. I don't know everything, but I do know something. So I need to know everybody that's joining me right now. Um, I'm giving you an opportunity throughout the Q&A is interactive It's me and you me and you do not be shy You haven't got you know, I'm not shy. So you can't be shy guess my message to you right now Shut up and take action. Yeah, so I need you to post me questions So first of all, I need to know the people I've got online So just give me a thumbs up throw out a thumbs up and also those little um, reaction things the hearts and the thumbs and I want you to start throwing that out right now so that we know this is an interactive Q&A with myself and I titled it how to live a life of purpose. Oh, I'm seeing some thumbs there. I'm seeing some thumbs there. Thank you so much. Um, put down a comment as well. Do not be shy to put down a comment. This is a Q&A. So that means that you ask me questions and I answer it to the best of my ability. So I'm seeing the hearts. I'm seeing the thumbs up. Yeah, I got Maxwell Bentley all up in there. Maxwell, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to the Q&A. Oh, Emma. Mwah. How you doing, Emma? Welcome to the Q&A. Oh, lovely. This is that little, that little thumb sort of stroking my chin right now. You got to be ready with these questions because I know that I've spent over... Kathy Kareem in the building. How you doing, Kathy Kareem? How you doing? Loving. Mwah, 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 mwah. I'm loving the people on this live stream right now. I'm on so many screens. I've got screens to my left. I've got screens to my right, making it happen. Who else do I need to give a shout out to right now? I've got Kathy on the line. I've got 18 people. There's some shy people. Daria, Daria, how you doing, darling? Mwah. Daria, welcome to the Q&A with Action Jackson. Who are uh, Leanne, Leanne. We've got Leanne as well. How you doing? Ufoma, if. Ufioma, Lucy, <laughs> how you doing? I'm just giving everybody a shout. We're just welcoming everybody in to this Q&A with Action Jackson here today. How to live a life of purpose. How to live a life of purpose. The reason why I've titled it uh, that is this. I've realized that no matter how much money you have, no matter how much I'm loving the hearts, no matter how much money you have, no matter how much connections you have, no matter how tall you are, short you are, fat you are, thin you are, there is still an emptiness in the lives of people. Sharon, thank you so much for joining us. So how do you live a life of purpose? Water has a purpose. The design of water is to quench thirst. I heard a quote that says, the two best days of your life is the day that you were born and the day you find out why you were born. Those two days are very, very crucial. Now, most people are born and some people are making money, yes, but then are you living a life of purpose, a life that is fulfilling, a life that when you wake up in the morning, you're like, yes, I am loving this, you know. Thank you so much for everybody that's join, joining me right now. Um, so we got Steffi as well, you know, big shout out to every one of you who are joining me right now. It's going to be on. It's going to be on. Now, it's only going to be on if you throw your questions. Here's my message to you real quickly. Shut up and take action. Don't talk about joining in. Start joining in. Start throwing your questions up. Start throwing your questions. What would you like to ask me on this Q&A? Just type it at the bottom and I'll be able to see your comments at the bottom. Just say hi, type it, type it, type it. A life of purpose. What does it mean to have a life of purpose? A life of purpose means that you're driven, you're happy, you're fulfilled, irrespective of what you have or what you don't have. See, most people equate the life of purpose to pretty much having. But guess what? A life of purpose is not about having, okay? Um, so we've got Sam Harry. Whoop, 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 whoop. Sam Harry, guess what? 
you are the first to actually ask me a question. Do you know what that automatically means? That automatically means that Sam Harry, who asked me the first question, gets to win one of this t-shirt right now. Yeah? Sam Harry, you just won the Shut Up and Take Action t-shirt because you're the first to ask me a question. So Sam has... Um, oh, we got Shirley from Nigeria. What's up, Shirley from Nigeria? Yeah? How you doing? All the way from Nigeria. Wow. Welcome to this live stream. This is the power of technology, okay? All the way from Nigeria. So you're in this Q&A, how to live a life of purpose. Someone says, what's the best way to stay motivated? What is the best way to stay motivated? Well, motivation is an internal thing. You're driven from within. From within you, you're feeling the power, you're feeling the energy. Some people are, can't be bothered. Well, truly, truly, you've got the energy to be bothered. It depends on what the vision you have for your life. Anyone that's on a mission is driven than anybody that is not on a mission. What is your life's mission? What is your life's mission? Your life's mission is connected to your purpose in life. If you do not have a mission or a vision that you're chasing on a day-to-day -day basis, guess what? You're going to feel demotivated. The mother that wakes up in the morning and says, I need to go and make money to feed my children is living a life of purpose. So she's not going to be talking about, oh, will I stay motivated? She has no choice but to stay motivated. Okay. So, so Sam Harry, you get to win this t-shirt right here. Yep. Shut up and take action t-shirt. Well done. Just adjusting my camera here. We are on the take action Tuesday. So this one is going out to everybody. So every single week I do a, a, a TV show on YouTube called Take Action Tuesday. And today we're going live with Take Action Tuesday. This is coming live to you. How to live a life of purpose. So we've got uh, Roger, Roger Moore joining us in the building. Is that Roger Moore? The Roger Moore? Shirley from Nigeria. Shirley from Nigeria asks, how do you connect the dots? Especially when you have... So many things that drive you in the line of your purpose. I'm writing reports for schools and flagging, but still motivated. Okay, so how do you connect the dots when you've got so many things? Well, put it this way. Most people are so caught up in activity. Activity is one thing, but being driven by purpose is another thing. Anybody that's studying or you're in a line of um, studying, you've got to think to yourself, what is the greater problem that I'm trying to solve with my life? And the reason why I talk about this is because a life of purpose solves a problem. There is a problem that you are solving. So for those of you who just joined us, I'm going to ask Shirley's question again. How do you connect the dots, especially when you have so many things that drive you in the line of your purpose? Now, if 10 things drive you, you've got to ask yourself, why? Why do they drive me? Because a lot of us as human beings, we have different kinds of goals. Let me tell you the first kind of goal people have. They've got the vanity goal. I want to write a book. Why do you want to write a book? Well, to be honest, some people say, I want to write a book because it's going to make me feel good about myself. Is that a good reason to write a book? So the first thing I want you to do, Shirley, is this. Write down all the things that's driving you right now and ask yourself why, why, why? Because some of them might be driving you because you want to make more money. Um, MROB, welcome to the Q&A. Some of them might be driving you because of uh, uh, insecurity. I used to have insecurity goals, a goal that actually made me feel more secure and more driven about my life. But I really looked close and I realized that all these goals, and this is how it goes, you've got your egocentric goals. Your egocentric goals are the goals that solve your problem and serve your needs. Those are the egocentric goals. The second kind of goal you're going to have is the ethnocentric goals. The ethnocentric goals are the goals that's not just about you, but about others. There's no way you're going to feel burnt out if you're serving others. If your goal is in alignment of serving others, there is no worry. I, I've been doing this for a long time now. As a motivational speaker and a life coach, I specialize in youth empowerment. And for me, I don't feel burnt out. Why? This is my purpose. It's not about me. It's about others. So surely... First thing I need you to do, get a piece of paper and write down all the different things that you're driven by, that's in line with your purpose, and ask yourself, okay, cool, why am I being driven by these things? And that's one way to actually help you get that drive back. So I'm just looking at the questions there. 
For those of you who just joined us, the question that Shirley asked from Nigeria, welcome. Um, how do you connect the dots, especially when you have so many things that drive you in line of your purpose? Okay. It's like if I'm going to have a wedding, I'm going to have many activities. The wedding is the goal. Listen, let me tell you something, yeah? Living a life of purpose starts with one thing. And the first thing is this. You have to have clarity. Clarity is power. Clarity is power. When I brought up from the church, one scripture that I learned was uh, John 10.10. 10. Christ had one purpose, yeah? The gospel. So I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. That was his purpose. So everything he did was in alignment with that one purpose. He said, I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Yeah. So that purpose itself is what drives people, is what makes people sort of move forward with great sense of purpose. So he had a purpose and everything he did was in alignment with that one purpose. He didn't go off on a tangent. Yeah. So ask yourself, is this aiding my purpose? Okay. So Shirley asked a very, very powerful question. If you just joined us, we're here with me, Action Jackson. This is like a Take Action Tuesday. Take Action Tuesday. Choo -choo. It's live today. I'm recording this live. I'm getting people connected live. Maxwell Bentley, how you doing? Maxwell Bentley asks, what made you want to be a motivational speaker? I am assuming you stay positive 24-7. Well, guess what? When you are on a when you're working for God, you've got no excuse. You have to stay positive 24/7. So, uh, those of you who just joined us, Maxwell Bentley asks, "What made you want to be a motivational speaker?" Well, many years ago, I heard a motivational speaker by the name of Les Brown. Les Brown and Les Brown said, "Find something you love doing and build your life around it." And I realized that I was the kind of guy at school who loved talking. I loved talking. And not realizing that that was actually my gift to the world. Talking was the tool, but my heart was more important. My heart was about helping people to shut up and take action. So I used that as a way of connecting with people to really serve. See, my life is built around service. Watch this. The secret to living is giving. Yeah? The secret to living is giving. When you give of yourself... And I said earlier on at the beginning of the question was that I actually work for God. See, when you work for God, guess what happens? He gives you everything you need. I'm like the ambassador for Christ. I'm Christ's ambassador. So when I'm working for God, God's got to give me all the strength I need. And that's why I stay positive 24-7. Imagine if God's got your back, you never be tired. Can I get a witness? If God's got your back, you can never be tired. Some people are chasing their own dream, their own goal, their own vision. That's why they're burnt out. Some people, some of our viewers right now are uh, saying, well, yeah, but I don't know God. I don't have a relationship with God. Well, guess what? The first key thing that you need to begin to develop is a relationship with the creator. Why? The creator knows why he created you and he knows what you're supposed to do. There is no other person that knows the product better than the manufacturer. If God manufactured a product, he knows why he manufactured the product. So inside the manufacturer's mind is the manufacturer's purpose. So what you want to begin to understand is when you understand God, you understand why you are here. No one is here for a mis uh, uh, as an accident. No one is here by mistake. We are here for a purpose. But until you find out that purpose in God, when I say in God is getting to know more of God, getting to understand God. Yeah. So that's how I have got energy 24 seven. I'm always energized. Why? Number one thing I do, I pray every day. That's one of the things that helps me to stay energized. I pray every single day. Why? This is me plugging back to the divine. Yeah. The divine God gives me more energy. Yeah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So Maxwell, I want you to go and check out Psalms 23 and, and read it to yourself every single day. And I bet you, I bet you, as you go and read Psalms 23, your energy is going to be amped up. Yeah. Han Han, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to the live Q&A with me, Action Jackson. This is an opportunity for you to ask me any question whatsoever. Feel free during this live broadcast. I'm like, liking the thumbs up. Look at that one. Yeah, it's floating. It's floating. Let's play a little game. If you make it float, I'll follow it. Okay, look at that one. Look at that one. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Look, 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 it's, moving. it's gone. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is so cool. Um, so we're live here on this Q&A with me, Action Jackson. How to live a life of purpose. 
Um, and we're just welcoming all, all of you on this broadcast right now. If you're liking this, if it's useful to you, please post up your questions, your opinions. What have you learned so far? Let's make this interactive. There we go. There's another heart. There's another thumbs up. We're going to play a quick game here. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Oh, gosh, I'm so childish. What the, do you know what? A life of prep. You see, Maxwell's make, taking a make right now. Look, look at that, look at that. He's putting up all the thumbs, so... It's, it's like a computer game right now. You guys are just crazy out here. All right, let's stay on point with the Q&A. How do you live a life of purpose? Well, I truly believe that I was brought up in a church and I realized that when you're growing up and you don't have a life of purpose and you don't feel like you have a life of purpose. Um, okay, I've got all these loves here right now, all this heart. A life of purpose comes with connecting back to God. And I think it's quite sad that we live in a society now that is actually filled with ego. Ego, E-G-O, is edging God out. Most people have edged God out of their lives. And it's quite sad that they've edged God out of their lives, E-G-O. And now they're trying to do it by themselves. Now, of course, if you try to, it's like you've charged your phone at home and then halfway through the day, the battery runs out. It's going to be difficult for that phone to function by the time it's on 1%. But knowing God is plugging into the eternal source, the source that never runs out. People ask me, why are you so motivated all the time? Well, because God's driving my every single move. And please, I want you to understand God, not from the religious point of view. I'm not, I'm not a big believer in religion. Religion is, is, watch this, religion is man's search for God. But relationship is God's search for man. The desire for God to pull you. God has a pull on your life and he wants you to have a better life. So a life of purpose is seated in God's thought for your life. Yeah, God is a God of purpose. He created you for a particular reason. And the only way you're going to find out your purpose in life is when you're connected to the divine source. You can't do it by yourself. That's why the level of depression is so high in our country, because everybody's trying to do it for themselves. And we now live in an ego-driven society where everybody's competing with each other, Everybody's addicted to likes and no likes. Do I have likes? Or does someone like me? Does this person like me? Does that person like me? Listen, it's not about who likes you or who doesn't like you. It's about whether or not you like yourself. Okay? And I'm going to be throwing some scriptures around to you guys because scriptures has actually helped me to live my life. Most people don't pray anymore. They don't read the word of God anymore. The reason why I encourage people to read the word of God is because, watch this, that is the manual for living. That is the manual for living. When you have that in your life, you're able to have a greater sense of purpose. All right. Frankie Nero in the building. Uh, how you doing? Welcome. This is Q&A with me, Action Jackson, how to live a life of purpose. We're going to get down into some conceptual ideas from tactical steps that you can begin to take to have a life of vision. The first one I would say that to live a life of purpose is this. I want you to understand this and don't ever forget this. And this is the first key point of a life of purpose. And this is this. God created you for a purpose. Have that belief. It's, it starts with a belief that I am here for a purpose. I am here for a reason. Yeah. Pastor Tunji in the building. How are you doing, sir? Great work. Pastor Tunji is doing a lot of work. Uh, he's doing great work in terms of um, helping people birth that book that's within you. So if you believe that you have a purpose in your life, and, and you would like to write a book in line with that purpose, Pastor Tunji has a way of actually helping you conceptualizing that idea, building a strategy, and within what? I think 30 to 90 days, your book is out, ready to go. So he's a man who's really connected to God. Um, he's written a, a, a book called um, Glory Realm. Yeah, it's all about worship and stuff. As a matter of fact, you know, get hold of one of his books because he definitely explains a lot more about really connecting to God's glory really really powerful so that's pastor tunji if you're on this live stream right now connect with him right now go straight and connect with pastor tunji right now to get some of his books if you want to understand this whole thing i'm talking about he's got a book that that's really gonna you know make it happen so understand this a life of purpose starts with you believing that you're created for a reason and god did not make a mistake on you you're not an, a mistake yeah you might not even know your dad or your mom yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, that's just an entry point into this planet. Those who are not supposed to be on this planet are not on this planet. If you're here, it means that you're here for a reason. And you need to be able to embrace that reason and run with purpose and run with power and run with passion. 
yeah but it starts with a belief a mindset that says hold on wait i am here for a reason done if you believe that you're here for a reason, every single one of the actions you take is purposeful. I'm here for a reason. I might not know what that reason is, but I'm going to find it. So number one, understand that God created you for a purpose. And number two, God loves you enough. God loves you, loves you, loves you. And he wants you to live a fruitful life. And that starts with you tapping into the strength that you've been given. There's a scripture in Ephesians 3 verse 20 that says, you know, unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Each and every one of you watching this right now, you have a solution to my problem. Yeah, you have a solution to my problem. There's a problem I have that you've got a solution to. Let me tell you, let me, let me paint the picture. Grace Adewale, mwah, welcome to the Q&A. We're talking about a life of purpose, living a life of purpose. Watch this, everyone. God created the heavens and the earth, and he knows that there's going to be problems everywhere. So he decided to delegate, okay, the solution to life in everybody. I have an issue, okay, I have a problem that I need solving, but you have a solution. Let me just paint this picture. Pastor Tundi's, Tundi's on the line, and he's a book coach. And if I want to write a book, I don't know how. I come to him. He's got the solution. And together we are able to dovetail one another's skills. I have one to write a book. He's going to help me. Bam. We're connected. That is a life of purpose. I want you to believe that. Start walking around like this saying, ooh, I actually have a solution to someone's problem. What could that be? Some people love cooking. Some people love eating. Well, if you don't cook, you don't feed people. If Pastor Tuesday doesn't write his courses on how to help people write books, people won't birth their books. I've been running my company now, the Fix Up Team, for the last 15 years. Yes, 15 years. I've been a speaker for 15 years. I'm all about youth empowerment. And in that 15 years, I've been able to connect with thousands of people. Some people online have known me for a long time in this work. Imagine if I decided not to follow that purpose of helping other people realize their dreams and their goals. How many people will go without? Do you know, here's the sad thing right now. You might be looking at your saying, you might be looking at your life saying, well, I don't really have a purpose. I just want to just get a job or pass my exams and that's the end of it. No, there is a purpose to your life. There is a purpose to your life. And that purpose is this, for you to find the God-given gift and to serve it to others. It's not about you. You are the messenger. You are the ambassador. You are supposed to give us the gift within you. So my question is this, whose solution are you holding on to? Yeah, whose solution are you holding on to? Pastor Tunji says, purpose is the key to living. Of course, everything has a purpose. My eyelash has a purpose. My earwax has a purpose. Yeah, my nose serves a purpose. Yeah, my eyebrows serves a purpose. Apart from trying to get it on fleek. Yeah, so Kathy has a solution to someone's problem. Um, Haley, 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 that's my daughter there, Haley. I've known Haley now since she was in primary school. Haley is um, is a, a, a remarkable young lady. You need to follow Haley. Yeah, if you're a young person, you need to follow Haley because Haley is on fire. Yeah, inside a dream, Haley has created a, a powerful movement, helping young people just really wake up to their to their potential. And Haley says, purpose always comes in service. Of course. Yes, yeah, all about service. Imagine if you woke up this morning and oxygen was depleted from the planet. You would die. Everything in our environment serves one another. I want you to begin to understand that if you decide to walk that selfish life, there's no way you're going to be able to live a life of fulfillment. A life of purpose is connected to service. It's connected to service. When we wake up and get off our own backside and stop moaning about what we don't have and start looking at what we can serve and how we can serve, guess what? The best of you will come out. The greatness that God has put in you will not come to the surface until you're connected to a problem. Find a problem and try and solve it. Everybody has a solution to somebody's problem. Yeah, I said to my boy, Alim Kamara, who's on tour right now in South America, he's a poet and a storyteller. And he had all these stories. And I said, listen, Alim, you need to put your stories um, in a CD format. And he was like, ah, yeah, I can't really be bothered. I said, you know what? You know, someone could die. 
as a result of not listening to your story CD. It's like, what? How can someone die? It's like, yeah. Because I know there was a time when someone listened to my YouTube uh, clip about depression. And guess what happened? As a result of listening to my clip and watching my clip, she emailed me to say, Jackson, thank you so much. I've been watching your clip for a very long time. And one night I wanted to actually commit suicide. And, um, and that turned my life around. Now imagine if I did not post that clip. What would have happened? What would have happened if I didn't post that clip? My purpose to serve her was really key. And when I served her, her life was revived. Whose solution are you holding on to? Faith Ogunkanya in the building all the way from, type, type on there, let us know where you're from, from Canada. So we've got Nigeria in the building. We've got Canada in the building. Wel welcome, welcome. Faith is my sister all the way from Canada. All right. She's amazing. She is a career coach. If you, wanna, if you want any tips on career, Faith is someone who is actually living her purpose. She's living her purpose. Ontario, Canada in the building. Whoop, 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 whoop. I need to take a, take a screenshot. I'm going to take a screenshot. I just took a screenshot because I'm just so excited, you know. Ontario, Canada in the building. This is what I'm trying to say. We're going international, baby. All right. So Faith is a career coach and anything to do with career, connect with Faith Ogans here on Facebook. Any questions you have on careers, she's able to give you the step-by-step -step process. She's a careers coach. She is a careers coach. The number one careers coach in Ontario, Canada. She's been there for a while now. And um, we've worked together. I've known um, Faith now for a very long time now. And um, she's been, she was part of our academy, the Fix Up Academy. And now she's running her own business. She's got her own life and her own family. And um, so connect with Faith Ogums if you want some career guidance. She's all the way in Ontario, Canada. I'm sure you can Skype her. If you've just joined us, we're here on this Q&A about living a life of purpose. And just to reiterate, a life of purpose is connected to a solution. And I said, number one, God created everything and everyone for a purpose. Everybody is created for a purpose. And the key thing to a life of purpose is understanding, number one, you're created for a purpose. Number two, God loves you enough to make you a solution to someone's problem. Okay? If you're watching this right now, I don't care what level you are in your life. You owe me a solution. You're holding a solution to a problem that I'm probably going to have a year from now, two years from now. Mark Zuckerberg was holding on to the solution for the world. All the while, if Mark Zuckerberg died, guess what? Facebook would have died with him. Ouch. Think about it. If you die right now, God forbid, you would die with some solution in you. You right now, as you're watching me right now, you are holding someone's solution. Africa is, is part of Africa is thriving right now because somebody stepped up and said, I'm going to serve Africa this way. America is thriving right now because some people said, I'm going to birth this idea. The guy that created Uber had Uber in him since the day he was born, but he did not know. We talk about the Garden of Eden as a place, it was an atmosphere where God created. Uber existed in the Garden of Eden. Twitter existed in the Garden of Eden. WhatsApp existed in the Garden of Eden. Yeah, why? This was where man was created and inside man was the purpose for the earth. And God looked into the future and saw, wow, these are the issues we're going to have. And here's a solution that I'm going to have to create through you. So if you're dormant and you're not pushing the best of you out, that means that you are depriving somebody. Watch this. Sad as it may seem, someone just committed suicide right now. Yeah, yeah. If you go and look at the suicide statistics, you realize that every hour or every minute, someone is coming to suicide somewhere around, around the planet. Now, that individual could have listened to your video, watched your clip, or listened to your music, or read your book, or came to your salon, and you might have just spoken to that person, you might have revived them, but because you're walking in fear, you're not walking in purpose, and someone has to die. Do you know, every time you are walking in fear, you're killing someone. Because when you walk in fear, you do not serve your purpose to the world. And if you don't serve the purpose to the world, then someone's going to die. I keep repeating this. You have the solution to someone's problem. So Grace Adewale says, being close to God's heart, uh, uh, being close to God's heart, you know how and where to serve. In turn, uh, in turn, you find your purpose. Yes, yes, yes. So when you're totally connected to God's heart, you know his heartbeat. Okay. 
The reason why I keep banging on about God is because the only one agenda that God has is to serve the planet, is to help the planet. And if you are able to connect with the idea that God serves the planet and you are connected to that same thing, let me tell you my purpose. My purpose is to bring every young person to the knowledge of Jesus Christ so that they can fulfill their agenda and their purpose in life. Helping young people find their greatness and serving it to the world. That's it. That's it. I want to be the manufacturer of greatness to young people. Every young person that I come in contact with, I truly believe that they have a purpose. If you're a young person watching this, you have a purpose. God has put in you a solution for the world. Oh, I'm insecure. Blah, blah, blah. Mm, forget about those insecurities. So how do you begin to walk in purpose? I don't just want to babble on about concepts now. This is a Q&A. Throw some questions up there. Throw some questions up there. Um, if you have any other questions or any other contribution, thank you to everybody that's joined me right now. Um, we've got people from Nigeria. We've got people from Canada, people from here in the UK. Where in the UK are you based right now? What are you doing? Throw me some questions. Feel free. If you're liking this, click the react button, click the love button. Let me see. Actually, let's see how many hearts we get flowing on the screen right now. If you're watching and you're attentive, you know, get those reaction buttons. Click those reaction buttons wherever you're at right now. Um, what are the practical tips you need? Um, I'm just going to look through my bookshelf right now. Okay. I want you, after this, to go and get... Thank you so much, Kathy. I love being there. Um, go and get this book. This book uh, is a very powerful book. Yeah? This book is called The Purpose Driven Life. And I'm liking all the hearts in there. Look, they're moving, they're moving, the hearts are moving. Um, big shout out to everybody on YouTube. Everybody on YouTube, there's a big fan, of, uh, a big people, uh, a big following on YouTube. I've had my YouTube channel now since 2007 and over 3,000 subscribers. So big shout out to everybody on YouTube. Okay. Uh, it's upside down. How's the book upside down? Is it up right now? Yeah, there we go. Purpose Driven Life. Rick Warren. Very powerful book. Yeah. This book is powerful. You need this book in your life. Everything I've been saying so far today, if you get this book, trust me, if you get this book and it doesn't change your life, yeah, I will, I will give you your refund back. I didn't write it. It's Rick Warren, Purpose Driven Life. Very, very powerful. Let me just, 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 just let me just open up to one. It starts with, for everything, absolutely everything above and below, visible and invisible, everything got started in him and finds its purpose in him. So some people say, I don't, back to front. Oh yes, because obviously this is, um, <laughs> let me flip it, tip the camera round. There we go. Yay, happy days. Is that better? Purpose Driven Life. So there you have it. Thank you so much to all my YouTube viewers who've been watching my Take Action Tuesday. Choo choo! It's all for you. It's all for you. Helping you to just be the best that you can be. I put these clips out there so they can empower you as young people to go to the next level. You deserve to be the best. Remember this. God loves you, man. God loves you. And he wants you to be the best. God wants you to achieve your best. God wants you to impact the world with your best. Thank you so much for watching this. One of the things I started thinking about was actually putting together like a YouTube viewers meetup. So like a YouTube meetup. For all you guys that have been watching my YouTube clips, just for you guys because you've been really, really, really committed and loyal. So please, if you're interested in doing that, send me a message and say, yes, I'm interested in doing that. That would be wonderful. Uh, also, put a comment on this video as to what you've learned from the video, how it helped you, one thing you learned that really struck a chord with your heart. And that would be very useful because as we're releasing more videos, we want to know how it's helping you and what else can we can do to improve it. So this is me, Action Jackson, saying thank you so much for watching this. It's been a great pleasure sharing this Q&A with you. All the best. Share it with your friends. Share links with everybody else that you feel that might benefit from this. Remember, you don't have to be great to get started, but you do have to get started in order to be great. For everyone watching, remember, I keep repeating that you are born for a purpose. You are amazing and you will change the world. Take care. Bye. Take Action Tuesday with me, Action Jackson. Let's make this dream a reality. 
so you can subscribe to my video on YouTube by typing Action Jackson UK. Take Action Tuesday. I'm going to be in your face every single Tuesday. Tell your friends. See ya. Thank you so much for watching. See ya. Bye.